Yo Liam here, and I'm gonna preface this SG by saying something that nobody ever likes to hear, but here it goes anyway. Um, the microphone in this video is messed up. I don't know what happened, and it hasn't happened in any other video, um, but anyway, my webcam, like the microphone on my webcam, and my Razer Krakens both caught like some weird glitch that made the audio really bad, and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about as soon as the episode begins. But the episode has some of the best, like, it's one of the best discussion episodes I've had in a while. So I don't want you guys to be, like, tuned off for the episode just by the um, bad quality of the noise. So just try to sit through it this one time. Trust me, SG-183 or none of the other videos after this who can have this air. Um, I just had to pre-record videos quickly, and I didn't really catch this air when I was recording it because I don't hear myself when I record so, just suffered through it for this one episode. I'm terribly, terribly, terribly sorry. And it is an interesting one that's gonna, um, cause comment interaction. So, de it's definitely worth a watch through. Uh, trust me on that one, guys. And I apologize. But other than that, let's roll on with the intro. Yo, leave me back to another episode of my Cup Survival Games today. We're playing on the map Anusha, so I'm gonna get stacked out of my mind. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, but let's get going on this game. So today's video is gonna be generating some comments. I know it's gonna it's kind of an interactive video. I kind of want you guys' opinion on this, so feel free to leave a like and a supportive or a comment against what I have to say. Uh, keep in mind, if you are for or opposed to what I have to say, please keep it respectful. Um, and let's try to have, like, a constructive comment section. Don't rip each other apart. I don't want any hatred or anything bad to come out of it. You know what I'm saying? So just keep the chat, um, keep, keep the comments really nice. I said keep the chat because I'm so used to live streaming, which I guess is fine. But anyway, what I'm going to be talking about today is some kind of ethical debate that I'm going to dub feeling versus forcing. Um, I don't actually know if this is an actual, like, ethical debate that some people have. I'm, it is one that I seem to face a lot, and it's gonna be what I'm gonna be talking about for the primary of this video. I thought someone was about to come and kill me, but I guess not. Okay, so anyway, um, basically, what I'm, what, the two sides are feeling and forcing. Feeling means, um, you feel your, you feel your emotions genuinely, and, um, they should only be brought out if they're genuine emotions, otherwise they need to be, um, they, they aren't real, so you can't make them up. An example would be, like, making up like you're sad to get your way, or like, oh, there's a tier 2 back here, I forgot. Making up your way to be sad, or like, making it seem like you're sad to get what you want, or like, I, I don't know, um... Like, you need, and you need to express your feelings properly, such as, if you feel guilty, you should feel guilty because you feel guilty, not because you feel forced in any, uh, manner. And forcing is the side that says, if, um, feelings aren't met to a certain standard, they need to be forced into people. Um, this comes a lot into parenting, I feel like, um, when parents have to teach their kids what's the right thing to do, because usually, uh, kids... Uh, I, I noticed because I do community service at a, uh, like, elementary public school, a lot of smaller kids are very selfish, and one of the feelings that they need to learn is how to share and care for each other, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you need to share the toys, share food, like, whatever you need to do. You can't take it all for yourself. And that's one that, like, by middle school, pretty much everybody has down, and no one really even thinks about it anymore. I need a flint and steel bag. Um, but anyway... I would like to, my god, it's like 2 2 Central over here. I would just like to talk about it. Um, which side, like, which side is the correct side? Okay, I need, I can't even loot that chest, it's so, come on, I need flint. Please just give me a flint. Oh, no, don't, okay, wait, we got flint steel, okay, we're good. Um, so, I am... Like, I, the reason I'm bringing up this debate is I'm sick of being told what to feel. Um, one case 
I, I'm very honest with myself. If, like, on recording you can say a bunch of stuff that uh, doesn't mean anything, but I feel like when I stream, that's when, like, streaming is a good way to see how someone really is. If you want to ever see how a YouTuber really acts outside the camera, go watch their live streams if they have it. Um, that's a good indicator of what they act like. And I feel like, for the most part, I'm a very genuine person on live streams. And I think people recognize that. People can ask me really anything on live stream and I'll give them an answer. It might not be the answer they're looking for. It might be like, a, I'm in, like, it might be something along the lines of, I'm, I'm uncomfortable answering that. Um, I feel this way about it. And usually I have to preface some of the stuff I say so other people don't get offended. Um, but I hate being told to, uh, I hate being told how I need to feel about something. The biggest case of this is when I need to be told, uh, when someone demands an apology from me in order uh, for me to get something that I'll need later. Um, one, like, because then you trap, then you have to apologize, even if you're not really sorry, and I don't like doing that, because then that's lying to somebody. So I don't know what's really doing the better job, lying to them and, uh, apologizing, or just apologize and give them what they hear so I can move on. Oh, jeez. Okay, that scared the hell out of me. I was not expecting this guy to come along. Um, okay. Okay, we'll slow him down a bit. Okay, I can get my gaps when I'm in one of these further rooms. Okay, and we are in the circle. Oh, and this is just gonna be like that other video where I run, ran through 50,000 minutes. Okay, uh, this guy is a terrible shot, actually, though. So I'm gonna go outside and make a loop around. So anyway, um... So, I don't like being told to apologize to people, and, um, just, it's just annoying, and it's, I find it very unnecessary. I also hate, um, what's another thing I hate? I also hate having new, I'm not very good at empathizing with people, and I hate being held accountable for not being able to do it well. I don't know. Nobody's perfect, and empathy is just a skill that I didn't really pick up. Um, I'm kind of a just tough you know what I would say there, but I don't want to do any extra editing. I gotta get these pre-recordings out quick. Um, like, tough luck. Okay, that's the cleaner version of it. It took me a while to think of it. It's just tough luck a lot of times. See how many tier twos are on this map? Jesus, Red Force. Really tier this map to the bone. Okay, there's a guy in the middle, so I might try to make a break through that in a sec. Okay, let's jump down here. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, Mr. Team. How about you kill this guy that's on me? I don't want him here. Kill him. Kill him. I'm not low. Just kill the guy who's behind me. Okay, I think... Oh, my God. Did I just get more people on me? That's so annoying. Leave me be. Leave me be. I'm trying to get my story out. And I don't really like... I don't really like being told... What I need to do. Like, you you really need to feel sorry for them. How dare you? How are you human if you don't feel sorry for them? I don't know. If I don't feel it, don't force me to feel it. Um, I will say, um, that I, one of the reasons why I might be taking the feeling side here on that the feeling should be genuine and natural is just because, um, I, I don't know. Like, I'm at that age where, like, Teenagers, it's that age where you think you know everything when you really know nothing. At least that's what adults say. So I feel more tempted to be on the side of I know everything just because I'm a teenager and I can feel that way and I can use that as like an excuse. Not really an excuse, but use that as my reasoning. That's a better way of putting it. Use that as my reasoning. So I might be right on this one. I might be not. On the flip side of things, I will talk about uh, why, why some would support forcing. Oh, are you kidding me? Stop! God! Hey, stop it! Would you please? I don't even know where you came from. I don't want to fight at the moment. I'm still mid-commentary. This always happens nowadays on SG. It's so annoying. Hey, you can't shoot some of the time. Which is good. And I hate how there's only like four exits here. Friggin' jokes, but there's eight for the tiny spawn in the middle. Okay. But anyway, on the feeling side, um, this is, I could see a lot of older people taking this side, especially parents. Um, it's important to integrate some feelings into your child's lives, if you like, to make them function properly. Um, there are definitely some things that some children do not learn when they're younger, and it definitely comes bite to bite them in the butt. 
Um, I'll say this one. I'm not going to try to offend anyone by saying this, but it is something that um, I'm not going to just ignore. Um, I feel like a bunch of people who are only childs don't really get the... Um, I don't really feel like they have to share anything, usually because they don't, um, usually because they don't have to share anything when they're younger. They don't have to share their toys, they don't have to share their food, they don't have to share any, like, I don't know, a Christmas gift, a bedroom, whatever, with anyone. Um, so, like, in that regard, um, it's up to the parent to force the feeling of sharing in their life in some other ways than with a sibling. Um, I don't really know how that's accomplished. I do have a brother, a twin brother actually, so I learned sharing pretty quickly, um, because especially since we're the same age, um, we have like the same teachers and stuff at school, so we had to learn how to like share help or like, I don't know, share like anything to do with school, it also came into play there. It's kind of weird, it's a weird concept to me to think of, oh hey, I, Mexican taco, two two. Wait, is this, is this my boy? Sure. Okay, I'll, I'll take any teammate at this point. Um, but anyway, on the feeling side, um, damn, I need to make a diamond sword. Okay, Mexican taco seems like my boy. I, I got a teammate last time on this map. Oh my god, this map's a disease. I hate it. Okay, I don't want a team. Let me make my damn sword. Okay. Mexican taco equals toxic. Okay, I, I I don't know who toxic is. I think he's a good player Um, so it'll be definitely interesting to see Uh, how teaming with him fares out. I can I just use the crafting bench like without being targeted Okay, and Mexican taco is still alive, which is good because I might have a pretty decent ally for deathmatch stacked up to me um So I do feel like getting opinions forced on you is an important thing and I feel like another one that's important is you need to learn um, how to feel guilty for something and own up to something when you're in the wrong I feel like no one ever wants to admit when they're wrong especially when they're younger they all, like little kids try to blame anything on anyone else I think it's an important uh, feeling for parents to push uh, that you should be forced to feel guilty so and another like one of the things that if you get forced enough, soon it will just come naturally. Um, I'm kind of... There, there are reasons to take both sides here, but I'm kind of leaning more toward the feeling side since I'm sick of being told how I need to feel, and I feel like I uh, am mature enough to make uh, some own decisions when it comes to my feelings. Now, there's always feelings that people... Uh, there's always feelings that people lack. This is important. Um... There's always some skill people lack. I lack empathy. Some people lack the ability to own um, their actions and always try to push it on someone else. They never find that they're wrong. Um, another feeling that people uh, don't really see is that um, they're the center of attention or rather they are in isolation. Um, people really sometimes have a trouble of seeing the bigger picture. Um, Wiz Khalifa line from the song, see you again, see the bigger picture, <laughs> whatever, okay, but anyway, um, like, seeing the bigger picture is definitely a big deal, and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I feel isolated, I never really feel like the center of attention though, um, the center of attention is usually, no, I do in some aspects of my life, but it, it's pretty, uh, my li my life's a bit difficult to explain, so it's kind of, it's kind of a weird mix of the two in that regard. Um, but there are some people who definitely think they're, they're everything and everybody loves them when really, like, barely anyone can stand them. Um, and there's also people I could easily be knocked into this fire, so I need to watch my butt. Okay, Mexican Taco got taken out, which sucks. My, I'm probably gonna lose this one, but oh, uh, I feel like I've made my debate clear enough. So you guys can let me know in the comments which side you're gonna take. Um, you can take feeling or forcing um which do you think is more effective pe uh, like which do you which do you prefer um do you prefer people getting to decide their own feelings or do you prefer people um having their feelings forced upon them even if you like my age i'm 17 at the moment so it's not like i'm a little kid that needs to be told how to share i'm pretty good about sharing stuff so 
I hope I hope I made myself clear with with what each side is. I don't know. I really don't have a lot of ethical debates on my channel about a lot of stuff, but I always feel like it's fun to do. I like to see what my audience thinks some of the time, and it it, it does make a good topic, I'd say. Okay, um, switch you out for some grain food, and by that I mean food that won't kill me. Uh, let's let's drop him the good luck. Um, I have 48 arrows. Can I make more flint steel? I cannot. It's just like the previous game, which I don't know if I recorded where I had a lack of flint. Okay, my mouse is a bit sticky. Okay, shaders off. You can even shoot me there. Okay, we're turning shaders off because they're really glitchy a lot of the time. Oh, we got a good player over here, as the kids say. What did you... Okay. Okay. Okay, get us back up to full. Okay, I don't know how I got on fire. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, I guarantee you is. Um, I wish you would say the heart number. Heart number, sir. Heart number. Stop and give me the heart number. Um, okay, he's like, bad. I outlasted you, kid. Um, I mean, you can just run forever. <laughs> Plus, this is probably like the first SG video I've lost in like, I don't know, like 10 or so. <laughs> I've been uploading a lot of wins recently, so it's good to get lost in there. So guys, leave it in the comments. I will be deleting any comments that are rude, have swears, any of that other stuff. Uh, just, if you didn't, if, general rule, if you wouldn't want your parents to read it, then don't say it. Um, and if you're older, then if you're like an adult, I don't know why you're watching my videos, because this is mainly for, like, younger people. Um, but anyway, leave watching it, and so you guys